welcome my dear friends poetic reading with fata poetic reading with fata as a place where poets meet together to share their minds how are you all doing uh, welcome to all of uh, once again and uh, let's begin let's uh, get started with uh, marco morengo please welcome marco morengo from italy let's begin uh he's joining us for after a long time he writes in the italian language and uh, he usually brings his translator karen but karen is uh you know out for you know a vacation to, uh, so please welcome marco marco go ahead marco please turn on your mic Marco, please turn on your mic. Please turn on your mic. Please turn on your mic. Turn on your mic. Unmute your mic. Marco, un unmute, unmute, mic, mic, audio. Please, audio, audio, please unmute your mic. Uh, you, you should, yeah. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Marco. Yes, please begin. Listen. Uh, la danza. Attraverso il velo dell'allegria, altro traspare. Durante la danza, le ampie vesti si scostano dai facili sorrisi. Nulla potrà proteggerci da ciò che siamo sotto altre vite spoglie e poi hello and, uh, can you hear ah, me okay. Hello. We can hear you, Marco. Please read. Ah, read. Yes, we can. I think you see sure, you know. Il poeta è disprezzato. Come zecche che portan via, avide di vite altrui. Nulla può convincerle del contrario. Il digiuno le rende nervose, non cattive. Ben piantate nel loro giusto disegno di una tronfiante, gonfiante vittoria. Sazi e vulnerabili attendono il gesto. Thank you, Marco. Thanks for coming. That was Marco Marengo uh, presenting his, presented his you know, Italian poem. Uh, please give it up for uh, Marco. Thanks for coming, Marco. I couldn't read it in English, but it's a little positive. Yeah. Greeting to all, many thanks to all. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, that was Marco and uh, with his lovely poem. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, yes. Uh, 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 please le let us welcome our, uh, you know, uh, veteran army uh, officer, um, Gopal Purdani, sir, to read his poem. Please uh, give a round of applause. Please go ahead, sir. Ah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Please, please, please read your point. Yes, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
We can hear you, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Yes, sir. Can I carry on, sir? Yes, please, 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 please. Thank you. Thank you. I will give you a few things और आज थोड़ा सा जुनून चढ़ा हुआ है नूरे इलाही का भगवान के ऊपर कुदरत के ऊपर और उसके नूर पर मैं एक दो कते सुनाना चाहूँगा और उससे पहले एक छोटा सा छंद है कि अच्छे नसीब वालों को सच्चा प्यार मिलता है अच्छे नसीब वालों को सच्चा प्यार मिलता है अपने ही लोगों का भरा हुआ संसार मिलता है और उनकी किस्मत का तो क्या ही कहना जिनको सच्चे वायदे का इंतजार मिलता है कहते हैं ना कि खीर पका के खानी चाहिए पकी खीर खा के वो मजा नहीं आता तो इस कास के जो सच्चे वादे के इंतजार में मजा है वो किसी चीज में मजा नहीं है अभी मैं आपको क्योंकि आज माहौल ही ऐसा है कि कुदरत का जो जलवा है वैसे लगता है बिल्कुल सामने है और मैं मेंशन करना चाहूँगा हजरत मंसूर साहब की ये मंसूर साहब हमारे बहुत बड़े पैगंबर हुए हैं एक बार किसी ने उनको पूछ लिया मंसूर साहब आप खुदा की बात करते हैं आपने खुदा देखा है कैसा है तो मंसूर साहब ने उनको जो जवाब दिया जिसको जवाब लेके भगवान के पास उनसे कम्युनिकेशन करना पड़ा और क्या रिजल्ट हुआ तो थोड़ा लंबा है वो नहीं मैं बोलूंगा लेकिन मंसूर साहब के दिल में क्या आया उन्होंने बोला एक बहुत बड़ा बहुत बढ़िया उर्दू का शब्द है उसको बोलते अनल हक अनल हक का मतलब होता है अहम ब्रह्मचारी अहम ब्रह्म अस्मि मैं ही भगवान हूं तो उसी के ऊपर एक छोटा सा कथा है कि मंसूर साहब ने कहा अनल हक और मैंने उसको जो बोलना चाहता हूं वो ये है कि अनल हक का मतलब मैं ही खुदा हूं मैं उसका जो तर्जमा कर रहा हूं उसका वसीयत कर रहा हूं उसको लंबा करके बता रहा हूं आपको ठीक करके बता रहा हूं कि अनल हक का मतलब है मैं ही खुदा हूं किसी भी चीज से मैं ना जदा हूं हर जगह में कायम है मेरा ही नूर है हर जगह में जो कायम है वो मेरा ही नूर है जो कुछ हो रहा है मैं उसकी वजह हूं तो ये वो सच है जो हमारे पैगंबरों ने हमारे गुरुओं ने हमारे बड़े-बड़े संत महात्माओं ने हमें सच्चाई समझाने की कोशिश करी एक और छोटा सा कथा पेश करूंगा कि मुझे कि मुझे आपकी बात अब समझ में आने लगी सुस्तरा रही जो पलक थी वो अब जग जाने लगी ये सच है कि आपके पास आने के बाद जिंदगी खुदाई को पाने लगी मेरी जिंदगी खुदाई को पाने लगी और एक और छोटा सा छंद है कि जिस रास्ते से गुजरे वो यादगार हो गए जिस रास्ते से गुजरे हम वो यादगार हो गए मेरी दास्तानें जिंदगी में शुमार हो गए जो गमगीन लम्हे थे वो भी बहुत कुछ दे गए जिंदगी में जो गमगीन लम्हे थे वो भी बहुत कुछ दे गए खुशगवार तो बहुत ही बाहर हो गए तो ये है उस खुदा के कदमों में और आपको ये मैं पेश कर रहा हूं बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू हम ब्रह्मास्मि
प्रसन्ना जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद धन्यवाद सर दैट इज व्हाट यू ट्राई टू पुट इन आप सुनाई नहीं दे रहे मुझे पता नहीं मैं भी सुनाई दे रहा हूं कि नहीं आई डोंट नो आई फाइव माय सुनाई नहीं दे रहे या आई मीन ऑडिबल आई मींस लाइक या कुछ या ये डोड़ है मैम रूपाली मैम आई मीन ऑडिबल अब आवाज आई या या थैंक यू अब अब आवाज आई थैंक यू सर थैंक यू मैंने कथा जो पेश किया आ, जी आवाज आई थी प्रसन्ना साहब हाँ बिल्कुल आई थी सर बिल्कुल आई थी बढ़िया था और हम ब्रह्मास्मी पर आप जो कहे थे वो बिल्कुल अच्छा लगा वो वो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कभी का जिक्र भी किया था तो बहुत बढ़िया लगा हमको आप भी आते रहिएगा हौसला बढ़ाते रहिएगा हमारे शान बढ़ा देंगे बढ़ेगा हमारी ये प्लेटफॉर्म का धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू दैट वॉज गोपाल पुरदानी सर रहते हैं uh please welcome our next poet our next poet is a first timer joining us uh, for, you know we've been associated for a long time but he could not make it but yes today we just we are you know uh, what do you call blessed to be having him we, uh, him he is a historian basically but he is a wonderful poet as well please welcome christopher t george if you don't mind i'm not quite ready um let me uh, get my act together here and uh... Come okay. back to me in a few minutes, if you would. Sure, 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 Christopher. And uh, let us jump on to, let us jump on to our next poet. Our next poet is Dominic Windram. Dominic Windram is, uh, yeah. yes, Dominic. Very sad. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You said thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, please, <laughs> please welcome Dominic Windram. Thank you, my dear friends. Please. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to read uh, two poems today. Um, first one is about a homage to the counterculture of the mid to late 1960s. And it's a kind of a lamentation on its passing via personification. Okay. Oh, wildflower of once revered times, the beauty of your poetry is no longer relevant to this prosaic world of treadmills and traffic jams. Oh, wildflower of seemingly endless golden summers, why have you been treated so shamefully? Alas, the days grow darker as culture's light dies. Being authentic is now just an archaic creed, along with love and peace and the other vibrant light motifs of song. Bring back your bright festivals. Meditation's slow focus breathing gives way to the need for more speed. No one can keep up with the pace of the city or vast financial markets. Oh, wildflower of a withered generation, your hexagrams no longer provide magic or surprise. Relics of the past are only sought out at auctions by the restless nouveau riche, weighed down by their myriad gadgets and clearly cheapened by fashion accessories. I guess everything has its price. I see your colours have faded and your clothes are ragged. Indeed, you look old and grey as you stand alone in the strange purple twilight. You were once high, but now suffer the needle chill. However, no one should ever forget your dreams and your stirring words. Thanks for your blithe spirit of sweet merriment and supreme resistance. Mostly thanks for giving us indelible memories. So that's the first one. And the second one is called An Autumn Oracle. The skies are inky as I return home from work. It's often like that, but this looks more menacing. Oracles always fill me with trepidation. Here are the details I'm scribbling in my diary. Wind and rain arrive together in the death throes of late September. Smell of wet clay on driveways, trees at my window darken. I don't know whether I feel joy or grief, but something deep in my heart is now being stirred. Perhaps this all has to do with the rusted leaves scattered by this autumn storm. Everything has gone hazy, but colours are glowing in a glass-like way. Autumn's oracles sometimes merge wonder with awe and dread. I still fear echoes of mortality, but beauty holds me spellbound. Thank you. 
Very beautiful. Dominic is always subtle and sublime. Beautiful imagery list in. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you. Thanks for well. Uh, thanks for you know, um, being you know consistent participant. You know. Thank you. I give a round of applause to Dominic. Welcome, my dear friends. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you. Uh, please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is a young poet, a college student. He's but a brilliant uh, writer as well. Her name, you know, is self is smile, you know, this is the meaning of little meaning. But please welcome Muskan Chetri. Thank you so much. Am I audible? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Oh, yes. And today I'm going to recite two poems, uh, which is one is based uh, as I'm a student. Uh, we need to work hard to gain success. Uh, we need to sacrifice many things. So that is based on, and the title of the poem is From Sacrifice to Success. So here it goes. Short term pain for long term gain. Show the seeds, endure the strain. Sacrifice today. Reap tomorrow, build a better future free from sorrow. The road may be tough and steep, but don't lose hope, don't love your sleep. For every edifice you make, a brighter future opens in creation. So sacrifice now and work with heart for what you saw. You will reap a harvest reach, a fruitful gain, all from a little short-term pain. Pain evokes pleasure in sporting hope from sacrifice to success, you will gain. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, my next poem, uh, it is the sent imagination of a heaven. So let's I go. Taste of Heaven. This is the title of the poem. When I think about heaven, I think the tallest mountain in the world. I think about the biggest star that I can search. I think about a white horse with wings. I'm holding on tight, riding the rings. He gives swings. Pegasus has been waiting just for me. I think about musical angels that can sing. I think of death with no sting. I think about all my loved ones that have passed. I think about all of those that I will not see of that. I think about glaciers that I'll be able to last. I think about no more worries and tomorrows. I think about no more feelings of sorrows. I think about no more aches and pains. I'll just let it rain. And lick every dog that fallen from heaven that I can reach. I'll sing, just can sing. Thank you so much. Wow, wonderful, wonderful Muskan. Beautiful reading. Uh, very Thank well you so much. Done. Very well read. Beautiful. That was Muskan. Please give it up, my dear friends. Thank you. Thank you, Muskan. Thank you for Thank your you so much. Please welcome our next poet. Christopher, are you ready? If not, I could go to other poet. Yes, Rani Tain. Please go ahead. Yeah. A few, a few more minutes. Almost yes. there. Yes, yes, yes. Rani, please go ahead. Rani Tucker, please welcome Rani Tucker. He's been, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Rani. I'm going to read, uh, I got a new one. And if I got time, I got another one, an old one that uh, yes, I kind of. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Please Let me, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to run them off. What's app where I can read it to you? Okay. Now, this one is. Uh, the new one I wrote here a few days ago is called uh, uh, 
uh, let me find it. It's uh, 234 in the eyes of a child. This is my private veil. Okay, it starts out warning how long. I saw one day, or, or I say one day, I saw angels falling out of the sky. They explode into colors so sparkling. I say how long, colliding, sparkling. In my eyes, I see circles. Sing softly, I stumble when I am tumbling down. Message is the same. Nothing is left anyway. I give and I give, yet it is not enough. In my lungs, I blow another cigarette so much I forget. My mind is full of cosmic debris, and all I see is twilight. Damn me for being a common thread to reality. I have lost my way. My step is to the edge. I am dangling between light and shade. Pull my shade down tight and disappear. I smoke my dreams away in the firelight. I make my own peace sign as I return to where I come from. In the depths of my soul, you know, oh, oh, the fire burns. Naked is the flame. Sanctuary bleeds so deep you can feel it inside, waiting to swallow you whole into the hollow fade, 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 fade away. In my eyes, my castle made of gold. I stare with the eyes of a child. I can go there and stay a while into the eyes of a child. I see a surreal thing and it is so tragic. Will you dance with me? Rebel tears disappear. Let yourself go, dance with me. As we swim through illusion, Surrender yourself to your own child, covered in your own light tonight. Cry from the heart. I can taste your soliloquy. Sing, sing for me. We have the moment. I thank you. I am a fool for, I am a fool just for you, a game to play. I just, I just can't stop this dance. Be a heartbeat tonight and walk away. Don't know if, if I pass this test. Reaction to the distraction and fade away. Pull another drag off my cigarette as I try to forget and I fall down. The damage to my black lung runs so deep. So twitch again, twitch again. Can't stop this dance. This is just a last chance to say goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Time for the fall. Say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Beneath colored dreams, shattered and tattered. Lonely is the song left to sing. Goodbye, goodbye tonight, tonight the angels fall, tumbling from a darkened sky. No longer do we hear the voice of a child in our hearts, they are taken away. So sad is this song. So let the tears fall today. And the band plays on as the flame burns away from my last cigarette. So two, three, four, in the eyes of a child, so wild, so wild. Now, do I have enough time to read this other one, Kumar? Uh, your time, time is up. It's a bit le lengthy one, so I think I could, now I'm afraid I have to stay. I could not go further. So anyways, thank you, Ronnie. This is so brilliant. Hey, I'll, just, I'll save it for the next, next. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. That was Thank Rani. You Thank you. Thank you. Please give it up. Thank you, Rani. Thanks for coming. Up next is yes, definitely. Uh Christopher would be ready by now. By now, let us welcome, please, Christopher Tizal, who is a historian, a brilliant poet. Please go ahead. Please welcome Christopher Tizal. How long do I have? Yeah, three minutes, Max. Three minutes max. Okay. Uh, all right. Going to do the share screen here. Um, all right. This is a um, an excellent um, photograph by a, a Yorkshire. 
photographer David Ox to be that I follow on Twitter or X as it's now known. Um, but I'm going to take you to Liverpool, where I'm from. Uh, one of my friends in Liverpool was the late uh, Adrian Henry. Uh, he was kind of a beat poet. He was one of three poets who uh, rose to prominence during the 1960s. And of course, um, Adrian knew John Lennon. Uh, here's a picture of. Uh, of Adrian, born in uh, 1934 in Birkenhead, opposite Liverpool, died in 2000. Uh, he was both an artist and a uh, poet. Adrian Henry, New York City Blues for John Lennon. You do not cross the road to step into immortality. An empty street is only the beginning. The words still flow through you, even on this cold pavement, are heard in some far place remote from flowers or flashbulbs. In that city, on Gothic railings, dark against the snowy park, still a dead flower, a faded letter, already one month old. Life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans. This empty street is only the beginning. Here in your other city, riot vans prowl the December dark. Remember angry embers of summer. Familiar ghost guitars echo from stucco terraces. Meanwhile, in the valley of indecision, we rehearse stale words store up expected songs, celebrate sad anniversaries, flowers and flashbulbs, cold pavements. You do not cross the road to step into immortality. At the end of the dark street of the street waits the inevitable stranger. Thanks everyone. That was Christopher. What a brilliant outpouring, Christopher. Thank you. That was really, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I could not ha have enough words to explain, but yes, that was so profound. Please give it up for Christopher T. George, who joined us for the first time. Up next, please welcome our next poet, who is runs a world, uh, what do you call it? If he's a stand-up comedy and a software engineer and Unmesh Mohitka, who is who has a plethora of voice, please welcome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Um, so I'll make it quick. Here we go. Prize he pays to win. Death own not to lose. Barren lands, thorny tears, flaming desert burning the curated green lawns. Patience tested daily, every moment, right, burning in righteous fire, wrong, killing the right in broad daylight, dark, covering the light in dazzling sunlight, fight to be perfect, perfect disaster, no bigger lie than perfection, no bigger false than the absolute truth, wrote about experiences, the road to poetry, punctured, broken, upheaval, commotion on every turn, bringing him back to the beginning. His grammarless sentences, sentencing the fried souls of the educated to nirvana, no end in the sight. Every moment, just an unending fight, crying in shadows, laughing in the sun, making hay while the sun shines, dark hidden corners of the mind, refusing to come out, scared, facade of bravery, fighting the real raw war, chips of facade falling down, crumbling, no repairs, putting a new facade every day, the makeup, makeup of the wounded, respite to the hounded, Every day, rising from the ashes, every night turning into ashes, intense eyes, burning the uninitiated. Is he going to win? 
Is he going to keep on fighting? Is the wine bottle going to age? Is he going to age gracefully? Nameless street dogs experiences the freedom. Named people jailed for life. Named people jailed for life. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, mind blowing, sir. Mind blown. Every moment is a fight. What a line. Brilliant. Yeah, that was Moinmesh Mohitka, who's got who's got unmissed life. Please join him every Friday is 9 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Misha. Thanks for coming and thanks for you know reading out your poem. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is yes, Madam Josephine Gomez who is here in Ireland's woman. Please welcome Madam Josephine Gomez. Ma'am, please unmute your mic. Yes. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Okay, I'm using only one cell phone, so uh, let me go to my Facebook. Can you see me, even if I can't see myself on screen. Yes, yes, we can see you. We can All see. right. Okay, my first poem is titled Eaten by the Wave of Disbelief. Your vision too narrow, clouded by doubt. I see on your face a frown and a pout, fearing the outcome, assuming you know taking control of the way things should go. How pitiful you look as you, your thoughts swim beyond allowable depths where you'll still feel my hand. Your fears and your worries are part of your system. Your dreams can't be reached as you cling onto them. Looking into my eyes, you should be able to see all good intentions, profound sincerity, but because your dark thoughts invade bright reality, truth is lost quickly, melts into obscurity. Empty your mind in dark thoughts, do not wallow, so you can follow the steps to a bright golden morrow. Your control during therapy, I'll momentarily borrow to free you from misery, lead you out of your sorrow. That's my first poem. Excellent, ma'am, excellent. Do my any... next poem is titled, Great Compassion Equals Hope for Humanity. Aware of the world's current situation, heading towards a precarious condition, Man's actions accelerating global warming. Doesn't this sound like a bell of warning? Earthquakes, flash floods, volcanic eruption, forest fires, drought, more carbon emission, constant threats to national security, increased countries watch on their territory. The recent international court ruling, Malaysia vehemently objecting. It is a question of historical seeding of Sabah and a family's rightful claiming. Russia asserting historicity, Ukraine fighting for righteous liberty, China hungry for world dominance, Taiwan and Hong Kong disliking furtherance not caring about others cause disasters, economic greed and lust for power, cause conflicts in all the world's corners. Only great compassion can break barriers. Exactly, ma'am, exactly. Only great compassion could break the barriers. Very well put. Thank you for coming and thank you for presenting your two beautiful poems. Very thoughtful one and very timely and contemporary one, you know, to think about. And that was Josephine, ma'am. Josephine, please give it up. Thank you. Thanks for coming. It's my please pleasure. Welcome. 
Thank you. So pleasure, ma'am. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is a regular participant. Please welcome Dr. Gargi Shah. Shah. Thank you, Shah. Thank you, Shah. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Greetings to all. I have two poems. Here is the first one. Life here and above. Infinite creatures survive above the surface and below the waters too. Implausible seems life like a bewitching maze. So beautiful is this world, myriad types of sharks, dolphins, seahorses, flora and fauna, all exist in this universe, enhancing beauty everywhere. I am a dumb spectator, attempting to fathom the essence of life. Different creatures have different ways of life, differ their habitat, health, hibernation. Humans too differ in cultures, regions, attire. Yet, there is unity in diversity. We are humans and should behave like humans. Let's not be bossy, belligerent, berserk, but humble, humanitarian, and generous. That is the first one. And the second one is colors. Colors. In my childhood, I had umpteen colors and painting books. Imaginations flourished on pencil, Crayons, oil pastels, poster colors, tube colors, and peregrine fantasies. Nevertheless, I was tired of sketching, drawing, painting, sceneries, cartoons, portraits. They were recognized publicly. I heard a name in the canvas. Gradually fade, colors have faded now. The red of warmth, love, vigor, vitality has sublimed to stasis. The blue of peace has been replaced by restlessness. Green, the fertility, has reduced to infertility. Yellow shines brightly of happiness, mirth, and glory. Orange signifies sacrifice, asceticism. Black stands for depression, grief, misfortune. White represents innocence, purity, cleanliness. Each color has its own significance in life. Sometimes hope, sometimes despair, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes positive, sometimes negative sometimes bliss, sometimes turmoil. Infinite natural, beautiful colors in nature invite marvelous inferences here and beyond. Thank you. That was this uh, description about colors. And yes, we are human and try to be like humans. Very well put, ma'am. Beautiful poems. That was Gargi, Dr. Gargi Shah yeah. for you, my dear friends. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Next up is uh, our, uh, you know, oh, I couldn't describe her, you know, uh, I can, I can introduce, you know, it's like mentor, but yes, Dr. Rupali Sarkar Gaur, please welcome Dr. Rupali Sarkar. Thank you, Prasanna, and good evening, dear friends who are poets. I've actually requested uh, Prasanna to let me read a little early because I've traveled many miles from a very mountainous area and I'm feeling a bit tired. But today, um, I'm not going to read anything that I have written, uh, but I'm going to read a poem by a very well-known poet called Conchetta Pipia, who lives in New York. And her poem from this wonderful book, and uh, I'm not only going to promote this book, but promote the poems that are in it. So Conchetta, uh, is a retired environmental designer and currently a certified well life coach. She's the founder of the Aspiring Writers Society. Uh, you must join this group. It's an incredible space to be in. And the AWS e-zine. She is a published author whose poetry appears in international anthologies. And of late, she's been winning a lot of awards for her poetry. Uh, Conchetta is an alumnus of Parsons School of Design, Toro University School of Law, and the University of Phoenix. She's a wheelchair user for 45 years now. And it's an incredible mind that she has, the spirit that she has, I'm actually in love with this woman. A wheelchair user for more than half a lifetime, she loves horticulture and dogs. 
Now, this poem is called Looking for Peace. She's not able to do this. She's right now undergoing chemotherapy also. Looking for peace. Peace, oh peace, where have you gone? And I think uh, I just recently, you know, Madame uh, Gomez also read something on peace. Looking for peace. Peace, oh peace, where have you gone? I miss the calm that you brought along. No more tranquility, no more serenity. All that remains the world of sin. Gone are the days of unity and love, replaced with hate and hostility above. Oh, how I long for a world at peace, where everyone can just be at peace. We must all strive to bring back the light, to stop this endless, endless fight. We must stand together, hand in hand, and work towards a peace that's grand. I propose we work towards a brighter tomorrow, where peace and love can blossom and grow. Let us all unite. Let us all be one and bring peace back, for it is long overdue. So this is a contribution in your book, Prasanna, and it comes from Conchetta. I just took her permission to read her poem. Thank you so much. Now you can go ahead with your other poets. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. We should keep reading from the book itself, you know, by taking, you know, it, is, it would be an honor for them to, you know, it's like, once it wants to uh, reach out. But yes, that was so, and such a resilient person, Conceit uh, herself. And uh, it's, it's such incredible. A, uh, that is such an honor, you know, that we had here in, uh, in our book. And I am thankful to, you know, Conceit and you, well. you as well. That you had, thank you. Conceit, <laughs> Papia. Thank you, Rupali, ma'am. Thanks for reading out. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is a, is a son of the, he is a beautiful poet. He's a serene and you know, he, he, he writes short uh, verses, but yes, he has a whiff of fragrance emits through his, you know, <laughs> providing. So please welcome Sridhar and Parakori. Am I audible, Ji? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yes, thank you, Prasannaji, for the wonderful opportunity. Uh, as usual, let me recite uh, my Mariyalam first. It's Kalikalam. Kalikalam. Yes. Okkathoru kudam dukkavumai Orka purattu ni keri vannal Mukum mulayu marinyu vittum Shwakalum kudi ariyu gilla Kalagal ki pol kayaru venda, karana unum tirekidenda, erum nunayum tiricharian, aralum avata kalamai, arumilelo sahada pican, aroma len in dena tilipol. That's Mariana. And a very short poem in English Sorrowfulness, Sorrowfulness. <coughs> Though the sky has glittering stars, though the sky has glittering stars, why does it cry, dropping tears with the help of clouds? Why does it cry, dropping tears with the help of clouds instead of happiness? Why does it cry, dropping tears with the help of clouds instead of happiness? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's called poesy. <laughs> Few lines yet, you know, brilliant meaning. So beautiful, very thoughtful. Thank you, thank you. Very, I mean, sublime. Superb. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming. Thank that was Sridhar and Parakori for you, my dear friend. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is, uh, yes, she sang a beautiful I know, the song. Uh, last time I even got, you know, mesmerized. Now let us please welcome what she has also for, for us. Please welcome Jaya Kalyana Raman. Please welcome ma'am Jaya Kalyana Raman. Ma'am, unmute your mic. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I've written a poem on Thanksgiving 
and gratitude. Because when tomorrow dawns, I would have taken 72 revolutions around the sun. So this is a poem of gratitude for the life I have led. I leaf through the chapters of my life, even as my forefinger flips over the pages of regret. But I stop to ponder, what was that all about? Was that karma playing out? Or were, or were they just lessons that had to be learned? Of what use are such lessons when mistakes shall never be repeated? Or are these lessons of caution to pass on to the next generation? For one who was born prematurely at home, and survival was a struggle, I sure have traveled far and wide on journeys least expected. For the opportunities that came knocking, for an intuition that God goaded me on, for the universe that helped bring it together, I count my many blessings and with gratitude, I accepted it all. Instro introspection comes with age, and age is just a number, they say. But believe me, you, the spirit is willing, but the flesh, it is weak. Though the enthusiasm exists to accept all that life continues to offer, which I completely accept in humility, when the high tides were against me, the tailwinds helped me stand my ground. In solitude, I faced the pressure of the moment with only the courage of my conviction to power me on. There is definitely a force that strengthens us all, balancing the good times and bad, success and failure, pain and well-being, through happiness and grief, I accept life's offer with gratitude, brightening the path ahead, a guiding light that leads me on. When tomorrow dawns, I'd have completed 72 revolutions around the sun. And as I enter my 73rd year, all I ask of this guiding light is to lead me on. Thank you. Oh, wow, 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 ma'am. So you want to say many returns of the day for tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. In other words. Happy birthday in advance. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Who's yeah. that? Thank Christopher, you. Christopher, Christopher, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Christopher. Thank you. Happy birthday, ma'am. Oh. Oh, thank you. Many, many returns <laughs> of the day. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So, Wish looking... you were happy birthday, ma'am. Oh, my, let's not take up time on this. Okay. Happy, <laughs> birthday, happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Wish you a happy birthday. Keep inspiring yeah. us, uh, ma'am. Keep inspiring us. What a lovely uh, right. But it's all about, you know, introspection. It's like, you know, with it looking within and it's like so beautiful, very philosophical. Gratitude eventually, yeah. you know. Yeah, great. Blessings. Oh, God. There have been plenty. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, that was Zaya Kalyan Rabo, my dear friends. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is, yes, uh, definitely uh, Mayacharya. How could I, you know, possibly? Oh, yes, please welcome uh, land and career, Aka Manatita Hachisan. Sir, unmute your mic. Thank you. 
Love pierced me with arrows. If you cannot see the traces on my skin, it's because they all hid in my wounded soul. She stabbed me with golden daggers. If you cannot see the traces on my skin, it is because they conceal themselves in the shards of my broken heart. Love kissed my soul. I become dazed and inebriated, drunk with the wine of supernal sweetness. She fed my hungry heart. I was removed from the agony of my longing to dine at the banquet of celestial minstrels. Sweet Shyama, it was you all along. You hid in the adversity of my prickly thorns only to garland this temple with scented roses. You dined in the amnesia of my mundane cravings only to crown my wounded soul with the dazzle of your enduring light. My tears once whispered from sad eyes, revealing to others the depths of my despair. Now the heart plays music through my smile in sync with the universe of the radiance of paradise. I am your lion, regal, majestic, and graceful like the swan. You are my lioness, all-knowing, ever-present, filled with the omnipotence of being. That was poem one. Poem two. <laughs> you, my, my sweet Valentine. Finding you is like a fight to the finish with no enemy in sight, save hate vanquished. To walk the path of sacrifice with the sweet wine of surrender in my soul, like that of the Nazarene. There is another way to find you, my queen, a light woven from challenges, now shining in the darkness, like fireflies and shooting stars, like fireflies and shooting stars. On this cold wintry night, your radiant glow is more than enough for me to warm this lonesome heart. You have burnt my loneliness to ashes and the winds came frittering them away. You have erased my insecurities, replacing them with the sails of fidelity, steadying our ship so that our path may become smooth and unencumbered. I hear the invitation of butterflies. Come, let's fly with us, they whisper. Yet I'm too drunk in love to escape my tangled web, this enjoyable wine of celestial longing. Whenever I think of you, the sweet scent of jasmines lingers in my breath. We have embraced in this garden of love before, lips converging, the moist aroma of your adorable sweetness flowing through those soft, warm and tender beauty, magical images of an ancient presence all molded together, producing a reverent flame unmatched in human history. A delicate frame may often be warm and cuddly, but a pure heart is a peerless treasure. One may be defiled by another, but love forgives 70 times seven, eventually conquering the heart to endure forever. Such is the depth of my agony of yearning. You came like a lamp within, lighting up my darkness. The old flames of memories now rekindled. I hold your gaze and the moon of my spirit glimmers new. Come, my beloved, take my hands, walk me through this meadow of your enchanting banquet. Lantern Carey, thank you. As you said always, I never get tired of, you know, saying this. You're not listening to you, it's reading you know, like it is like you're reading. Yeah, very reading nice, book. Book. very thank nice. <laughs> thank you, Landry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank beautiful, thank beautiful you. as always, Lantern. Great work. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you for being consistent, you know, for them. Thank you for a great supporter of Hotel Brands. That was Lantern. Thank you. Uh, give it up, my dear friends. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is our, is our part of our anthology, uh, Manishatom Songs of Humanity, Jackie Chow. Please welcome. Okay, hi. Um, yeah, I wish I could come to these readings more. It's, uh, uh, it starts at 6.30 in the morning. So I've been uh, trying hard to wake up for it. Um, so anyway, um, 
I'm going to read a poem. It's um, the prompt was to write a poem um, for a poet who passed away. And my poem is called For Sylvia Plath. Some days I see a ghost girl in the mirror, crawling up to the glass surface. Other days I see an aging woman. Some nights I stand on my balcony, absorbing the glare of the moon, the ghastly silhouettes of the trees, rising like black fires. Other nights I shut the blinds before the nocturne overwhelms me, the way it did you. Despite your capacity to feel deeply and suffer, that's one. And then I'm going to read another relatively short poem. It's called Dancing in Rough Winds. Someday the sidewalk will turn into chocolate, oozing caramel from its cracks. Until then, I will continue to tread on hot concrete. My feet and my heart blistered from wear. I will continue to dance in the sandy wind, longing for the taste of a candied path. Thank you. That's brilliant. Jackie is short and sweet as always. Yeah, we love to have you always. It will be a pleasure, you know. Uh, to be having you always, uh, but yes, thanks for, for, for you know having you uh, with us in this book. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Jackie Chow. Did you say that Sylvia Platt is no more? Um, yes, um, she passed away when she was only thirty years old. I think uh, how back recent? in nineteen sixty. Uh, 1960 something in the oh. 60s so it's really write, I, I was really sad she did write brilliant poems and yes. I love her poems yeah okay yes. I don't know a thank history you. I must read that <laughs> thank you yep. okay no problem yeah thank you ma'am thank you Jackie thank you Jay ma'am thank you uh, please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is joining us for the first time. He's a young poet, but a brilliant writer. Please welcome Piyush Raza. Yes, Piyush, please introduce yourself and you could just start reading your poem. You got three minutes. Namaste, namaste, namaste from India. Myself, Piyush from Bihar. First, I, I will uh, recite my poem poem in English and then Hindi. My uh, uh, theme of the poem is uh, Journey of Hope. In shadows deep, in shadows deep, where dreams take flight. In shadows deep, where dreams take flight, a journey starts through darkest night. In shadows deep, where dreams take flight, a journey starts through darkest night. With hope as compass, with hope as compass, TD guide. We venture forth, no need to hide. We venture forth, no need to hide. Through trials, tribulation taste. Through trials, tribulation taste, we find our strength, we give our best. We find our strength, we give our best. Each step we take, a beacon glow. Each step we take, a beacon glow. Illuminates path where dreams may grow. Illuminates paths where dreams may grow. Through valley low, through valley low and mountains high. Through valleys low, and mountains high, with the steep fast heart, we reach the sky. In every stumble, every fall. In every stumble, every fall, a lesson learned, we stand tall. 
a lesson learned we stand tall with every dawn with every dawn a new beginning with every dawn a new beginning the sun ascends uh, the sun ascends the sun ascends the world is spinning the sun ascends uh, the world is spinning a tapestry of dreams we weave a tapestry of dreams we weave in every moment we believe in every moment we believe and the last pyra of my poetry for hopes the fire for hopes the fire that fuels our quest for hopes the fire that fuels our quest a light within a steady crest a light within a steady crest uh through every twist through every turn through every twist uh, through every turn a journey of hope be bravely on a journey of hope be bravely on and uh, because of uh, my mother our mother language is hindi and i also write in hindi uh, uh, a short ghazal i want to recite on this month uh, uh, this uh, mm, uh, in first time uh, the theme of my ghazal is wafadar nazar aate waise to sare waise to sare wafadar nazar aate hai waise to sare wafadar nazar aate hai nazre hatte hi gunahgar nazar aate waise to sare wafadar nazar aate hai नजर हटते ही गुनहगार नजर आते हैं जब भी पहचानेंगे वो सारे शख्सियत मेरी जब भी पहचानेंगे वो सारे शख्सियत मेरी सब ये बोलेंगे वो सरदार नजर आते हैं सब ये बोलेंगे वो सरदार नजर आते हैं और ये देखिएगा अगला अगली पंक्ति देखिएगा कि बहुत मिलेंगे जहां में हम चाहने वाले बहुत मिलेंगे जहां में हाँ चाहने वाले कहा हम जैसे दिलदार नजर आते हैं कहा हम जैसे दिलदार नजर आते हैं और देखिएगा अगली पंक्ति की सहारे जिन के उतारी थी तूफान में कश्ती सहारे जिन के उतारी थी तूफान में कश्ती डुबाने को ही हाँ यार नजर आते हैं डुबाने को वही हाँ यार नजर आते हैं वैसे तो सारे वफादार नजर आते हैं और लास्ट की लास्ट का मकता देखिएगा कि अपनी ख्वाहिश है मिले कोई सफर में हम अपनी ख्वाहिश है मिले कोई सफर में हमको खूबसूरत वो कहा यार नजर आते हैं खूबसूरत वो कहा यार नजर आते हैं वैसे तो सारे वफादार नजर आते हैं नजरे हटते ही गुनहगार नजर आते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू से समथिंग टू रिसाइट माय पोएट्री थैंक यू प्रसन्ना थैंक यू थैंक यू जेहर थैंक यू पीयूष बहुत ब्यूटीफुल लाइंस उन्हें वफादार गुनहगार बढ़िया एकदम ब्यूटीफुल लाइन्स टू बिगिन विद wonderful thank you piyush thank, thank you this love hello i'm allowed to have you and uh, please please do come and uh, you know i keep coming and can share your words and that was piyush raza uh, joining fang as first time please give it up for uh, uh, piyush and now let us welcome bisarka from croatia who is going to uh, read the poem in croatian language please bisarka Yes. Yes. Good evening, <laughs> everyone. Every author. Thank you very much to the happiness and to old people, old poets. Uh, in Croatia, to the regent, regent, rain, 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 also. And uh, my poet to the names to the this happiness. Kratija tako sretna. 
Tako sam sretna što živim kad putujem daljinama, kada crtam i slikam, kada pišem sve što mi padne na pamet. Tako sretna kada dijelim svoju ljubav onome kome je potrebno koji prihvaća moj dar. Tako sretna oblačim se u dugine boje i lepršam, poput lišća što pada s grana. Skupljam ih rukama, vrteći se oko osi, rasipam ih u svojoj radosti života. Ne pretjerujem, nemam granica, vrti mi se, smijem se, smijem, jer život je taj jedan. Ali na lepeša oko mene, u nekim drugačijim bojama, priča o prošlosti života je potom ispisana. Tako sam sretna što uživam u srasti njegovog milovanja još daje. U mojoj koži posebni sjaj, očima zvijezde beskrajne. Tako sretna da mogu mijenjati život kada i nisam zadovoljna njime. Prijateljicama, prijateljima, znanima kad me povrijede i sebi osiguraju nešto, koji ne žive u snovima, nesigurni su u sebe. Lamataju i lutaju u hordama ulicama grada, bez smisla. Tako sam sretna što živim sada, ovaj put ne griješim, ne riskiram ništa, tako želim da ste svi sretni da uživate. Ovaj svoj život, da ne zaboravite živjeti. Do happiness, do you happen to the life, to the happiness. Thank you very much. Wow, Baserka, we could read your, uh, we could understand uh, through your gestures, you know through your body, my body language, so beautiful. And you enjoyed it while reading and we enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Yeah. So thank beautiful. you, thank, so beautiful. Yeah, thank so. you very much. And the uh, writing to the song on the message to the English, okay? Thank you. Please to the English to you, to the Spaniel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you much to the holy poets. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Viserka. Thank you. That was Viserka. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is a retired teacher and a brilliant uh, 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 person. Please welcome uh, Hira Nawaj. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Please go ahead. I have some internet issues. So I just hope, uh, yeah, there's, it doesn't, it doesn't, the issue doesn't come proper for I'm reading my poem. No, no, First wait. of all, yeah. Good evening, everybody. I would like to thank Prasanna Ji for inviting me for this session. My first poem is about kindness because kindness is a very important quality. No matter how far you reach in life, you should never forget your roots, never forget the quality of kindness, which makes us better human beings. So here goes my poem. One of the most beautiful qualities imbued with humanism is the quality of being kind. For this shows us one's innate greatness and the magnanimousness of what heart, soul, and mind. It is a characteristic that is greater than physical beauty or compassion pleating an intellectual thesis in time. For an overflowing heart of kindness with hands down, with no misplaced reason or rhyme. Kind people show great sensitivity, empathy and warmth to their fellow human beings and the indigent soul. It is this one trait that separates the wicked like Hitler and Mussolini from those who are nice and whole. Kind people give cash, kind and their time to charity, to the underprivileged children, 
women and men. Beauty queens and actresses have shown compassion, which includes our very own Aishwarya Rai and Shishmita Sen. But the greatest proponent of kindness, I feel, is the late Mother Teresa, who is a dear, true adherent of the God above, who led by example, showing her compassion to the dying and destitute with an untainted, undying love. She believed in Jesus Christ, who had said, as you did it to the least of these brethren, you did it to me, opening up missionaries of charity to the world of kindness, which is bigger and deeper than the sea. And it is truly the essence of true un unhypocritical religion, for hands that help are better than lips that pray, proving that without a doubt that kindness magnetically draws us closer to God. For where there's a will, there's a burgeoning highway. Okay, that's the first poem about kindness. And my second poem is about inspiration. It's a short poem, but I hope you feel inspired by it. Inspiration. Inspiration flows from motivation acquired from and blessed by the omniscient God above, which catalyzes stories and lyrical poems of heartbreak and loss, chivalrous warriors and undying love. The pen contains ink that flows effusively, racing to keep track of the ever-thinking, energetic mind. Yes. Inspiration is a God-given talent that demarcates every genius of an evocatively brilliant and poetic kind. Inspiration is a call of the mystical muses, which brings out our optimum creative best. It evaluates our character and assesses us and whether our actions match with our words, for that is the ultimate test. So actually this poem was written because many of us writers get writer's block, but sometimes a sudden flash, they get inspiration. And that's a really from which the poem evolves through inspiration. So thank you all for giving me a patient listening. I'm looking forward to listening to the other poets and poetesses around the globe. And it's truly been an inspiring evening so, 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 so far. So I hope it will be continue to be inspiring. I'm sure it will. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, with your inspirational words, it will go on. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the inspiration and support. Thank you. That was... Uh, <laughs> yes, please uh, charge your batteries and you know mobile <laughs> devices. You have line of poets, and uh, please welcome uh, our next poet. Our next poet is Martina Robales Garrigos. Thank you for being with us, Martina, from the beginning. Oh, thank and you. you. There. Thank you. It's great to be yeah. here, even though I'm barely waking up. <laughs> okay, so this poem. I wrote because somebody asked me, do you hear me well? Yeah, because I'm I'm not I'm not used to wearing these things. So it's like ugh. please, please go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So they wanted me to write a poem about hunger hunger and a, a rhyming poem about hunger. Okay. To be hungry. Going to bed without feeding hunger will cause a rumbling belly to thunder. What can ease the pain again when calls for food are all in vain? Who can give this soul some food and not a beating with a piece of wood? Strike me once, strike me twice, but don't forget to feed me thrice. The scars of hunger that I wear are very likely my heart to tear. Don't throw your food away, my friend. It will prevent somebody's end. Should you decide to ignore advice, for sure it will be your demise. So be clear, my human peer, 
and one day we'll enjoy a beer. Well, maybe we'll drink some milk instead and then we'll share a piece of bread. Hunger pains are not, are no joy ride. They cause my eyes to dream open wide. Is it okay to read a, a Spanish haiku? Yes, 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 please go ahead, please go ahead. Well, this is a Spanish haiku. Cielo que sueña con una primavera llena de flores. Sol que calienta corazones muy fríos con el verano. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias, Martina. Gracias. Now, now to breakfast because my stomach is rumbling. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That was lovely. Beautiful. That was... Martina Robales Garigos, please give it up, my dear friends. Give a round of applause. Thank you, Martina. Thanks for coming. Yes, please welcome our next poet. Is you know, yeah. How can I describe? She's an ambassador of you know culture and uh, cultural ambassador. That's what you say. Ambassador Priyanka Niyogi. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you so much uh, again. Invite me and uh, give me opportunity for today's beautiful session while, uh, while uh, <clears throat> we learn uh, lots of from uh, poets. So now uh, <coughs> I'm going to my poem. I read Bengali poem, my own written poem. Kobita nam bondhu means friend. Kobi priyankani. Bundhu shatota, choto khato. Bundhu mani, bandhu ni abodhu. Bundhur shathe shau pishar ni bojha bujhi. Bundhur shathe hoye uthi nana karo ni obhi mani. Shukhir dineu dujan dujanar dukhir dineu ubhoy ubhoyir. Tumar kachi. Moni joto shabraki. Shokal dupu ratri. Tomar kosta jekori. Baishi February duhaja unishi. Hotati dekaholo shabar shate. Epar opar ek kore hoe utlam eki opore bunthoe. Dilam eki opore hat bari. Shop kichuji, gallumili. Ek otut bondoni. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to my second poem. A very short poem. Jete hobby. Konig do. Kobi Priyanka Nyogi. Nil shimana peri lal shimana. Katatari noksha kiti jolly dur palai. Obak pani taki ruite hoi. Ui obokashi jiboni noksha gurti par gurti hoi shop kitchu. Ashibi jabi amiu jabu pita kadbu. Shishlok niji. Ocho boi. Thank you so much. And a hearty thanks to respected. Roshan Kumar sir for organizing the beautiful session. Thanks a lot. Wonderful, Priyanka. I'm very, I'm, uh, I'm blessed. You know? I'm, uh, so beautiful, yeah. very expressive, very expressive, wonderful poems, wonderful. Very well recited. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for presenting your two beautiful poems. Uh, up next is, yes. Jiji, <laughs> Jiji. Uh, up, ne up next is our uh, uh, Richard Spisak. Yes, I could see. <laughs> I, yes, Richard is uh, as busy these days, but yes, I could not see his. I have uh, a new angle on you today. <laughs> it's my, uh, my camera is acting up, so I'm going to give you a new slant on things. This first one is called DCAL Coda. In musical language, it means go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning again, who can honorably say how or when 
each new circle round can be as profound as its sequel, as the last first trip downhill on the bike wall. Rewatching a book or reading a movie, again, can be quite awesome and groovy and leave you quite thoughtful or even a little less moody. But often you gain from that second sip of rain a little more fuel for the brain. Oh, those dullards who think they've gained enough facts from their once on the train, repetition denying, I don't think they're really trying. Amuses me right out of my tree, whoopee! <laughs> this next one is kind of a technological lament. Many of you, you know, you stored sound on cassettes, then it was CDs, then it was sticks, empty, uh, you know, streaming. We keep changing mediums, but our messages remain the same. Carving our messages in new wax. When we carve our media with some thought quite obscene, my media meanderings across the varied forms, vinyl, magnetic, holographic, ones and zeros, bestow on our busy ears and eyes that keep me warm from a dozen storms. Whether plastic discs that spinning hiss or a thin magnetic tape that tended to stretch and snap over the print or the break, although reel to reel I maintain my zeal, the pl vinyl platter did der delivered a fatter fermentation, but not while traveling the untraveled road in another dimension. None could oppose either the clamshell enclosure of an eight track tape or the homespun burnt enthusiasm of cassettes than we have them and we make. But CDs, DVDs, or stick does the trick today, displayed nearly no naming, framing, optionized, clear, I fear, in the day, it fails to stream the dream. But when the disc fades and our connected content is waylaid, what new medium can the artist twist and claim in their timey, grimy, tiny digital fist? Last but not least, this to my spiritual brothers and sisters who strive through the world to see the infinite. This is called over, under, around, and through. Over, under, around, and through, the universe is going to take care of you. As above, so below, count your daily million miracles that ease your way, you know. Just count even on your toes. Hurtling, tumbling through the immensity of space implies, of course, the other place. The way the sunlight sparkles on the water just exactly how you otter. I've often heard among the folks, they like a different species of joke. No, ever tell them jokes too mean. The ambassador gets up and closes his magazine. But the rose pressed between the pages of an ancient book, we that get a different kind of look. Like that rose plastered between the pages, what colorful threaded harmonies we find ourselves engaged in. Live out in mercy, come what may. May you too sprinkle a little mercy on the bread of day over, under, around, and through, the universe is going to take care of you. Just like capuchin monkeys in the zoo, the staid ages of sages cages up and you'll break through. Thank you, my friends. Oh, wow, wow. That was delightful reading. How could I miss you? Yeah, that is one, <laughs> you know, beautiful angle. A new slant on things. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the skies. Floating. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. The galaxies. Beautiful, Richard. That was Richard. Please uh, give a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for coming. Thanks for making it tonight. Please welcome our next poet. Our next, next poet is uh, Maria from Brazil. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Happy to be with you all once more. Thank you, Prasanna, for gathering us on this beautiful video meeting. My first poem, it's about love. And uh, the title of the poem is The Dream. The Dream. If you were a flower, I would sip your nectar like a bee does to make sweet honey and smear days tasteful within much love and peace. If you were a star in the sky above shining, I would spend nights my 
looking at you, scintillating and twinkling, and I wish I should make to fulfill a dream forever you by side mine. You are but a poet that does not write rhyming. Verses always concise, though lots of love and feelings you share on your lines to a muse of yours and many more. I hope you recognize me ever as a muse and give me a chance to walk along with you side by side. In all days of our lives, here and in heaven, to being a duet in one forever, within lots of much love and peace. Yes, this was the first one. Can I recite another one, Prasanna? Okay. The title is Bore to One Another. We eternally a couple one day we shall be. To feel that love of us grew and much more grew. Together along many days, not a simple fail either. We were born to one another, my dear though. It's written on the stars in the sky above us. In love, we not a day goes by without that feeling of love. When we smile at each other one, I know, we eternally a couple, one day we shall be. If this is knocks on our door without invite, and you become sick, my beloved best health, a flower every day, I will give to you, my darling, to feel that love of us real and much more real. We have already gone a great bit of far. Once in a while, I remember our walk in the park. Lots of loving words. I use it to whisper in your ears. Together along many days, not a simple fall either. Hand in hand, we always chaminis. If love exists and coexists, camera D comes first. We had to be close friends before a love kiss. We were born to one another, my dear though. And it was the second one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for hearing me and giving me this opportunity. A kiss on, on your hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. That was so beautiful. Love. We, we, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is, yes, definitely she's doing, not doing well these days, but yes, okay, we cannot miss her. We cannot miss her. Please welcome Prabha Shastri Joshila. Good evening to everybody. Today I am reading one Sanskrit poem. Then Okay. Yarucha, he said, Yarucha, he said, Marianta Parabhavati, Yajanan, Yabutta, Vade Dakyam. Sarvam Vittajam Balam Ante Manishal Yepudu Utsahanto Undali Itaralana Aumanan Chese Udharinchinatu Matlada Kodadu 
ఇవన్నీ ధర్మతో వచ్చే బలాలు కాబట్టి మనకి ఎంత కావాలో అంత ధర్మే మనం ఉంచుకోవటం ఒక ధర్మం అవును కదా అది ఎక్కువ ధనం అయిన కొద్దీ మనిషిలో అహంకారం వస్తుంది వద్దు మనకి అహంకారం కాదు మనకు కావాల్సింది స్నేహం ప్రేమ ప్రీతి సహోదర భావనలు రావాలి అది ఆ శ్లోకం యుద్ధం ఇప్పుడు నావు ఐ ఆమ్ రీడింగ్ ఆపకు నీ ప్రయాణం డోంట్ స్టాప్ యువర్ జర్నీ దట్ ఎప్పుడో ఏదో జరిగిందని దుఃఖించకు ఎప్పుడో ఏదో జరిగిందని దుఃఖించకు మనిషికి రాక మానుకు వస్తాయా మనిషికి రాక మానుకు వస్తాయా ఎగుడు దిగుడులు మనిషికి తప్పదు ఎగుడు దిగుడులు మనిషికి తప్పవు ఆపకు నీ ప్రయాణం ఆపకు నీ ప్రయాణం కొనసాగించు కొనసాగించు ఒక్కొక్కరికి ఒక్కొక్క రకం ఆశలు అవును కదా ఒక్కొక్కరికి ఒక్కొక్క రకం ఆశలు ఒక్కొక్కరికి ఒక్కొక్క రకం బాధలు తీరం చేరాలంటే తీరం చేరాలంటే నీకు నువ్వుగా తీర్చుకోవాలి సమస్యలు చిన్నవి పెద్దవి వస్తూ ఉంటాయి చిన్నవి పెద్దవి వస్తూ ఉంటాయి భయపడితే నీ గమ్యం చేరలేవు భయపడితే నీ గమ్యం చేరలేవు సహనం ఓర్పు నీగా చేసుకో ధీర వీర సాహసాలు చెయ్యాలి ధీర వీర సాహసాలు చెయ్యాలి రేపటి భరోసాతో మదిగట్టి చేసుకో నిన్న మొన్నటి మంచి జ్ఞాపకాలు తిరగేసి సాగు సప్త సముద్రాల కష్టాలను నవరసాలతో జయించు సప్త సముద్రాల కష్టాలను నవ్వరసాలతో బా జయించు పక్కోడితో పక్కోడితో ఈతలు కొట్టి తల మునకలు అవ్వకుండా తీరం చేయాలి పక్కోడితో ఈతలు కొట్టి తల మునకలు అవ్వకుండా తీరం చేయాలి ఆ తర్వాత ఆ తర్వాత చితిలో కాలి బుగ్గి అవుతావు చింతలతో చిక్కుల పొదులోకి దూరం కొందరి జీవితం పువ్వుల మార్గం మరికొందరి జీవితం కంకర్రాళ్ళ మార్గం కష్టాల కంకర్రాడు పై నుంచి జీవనం గట్టు ఎక్కాలి కష్టాల కంకర్ రోడ్డున పై నుంచి జీవనం గట్టం ఎక్కాలి పొంగి పొడిలే కళ్ళ నీళ్ళ బిందువులు చిమ్మి నవ్వులతో పాలు పొంగించుకోవాలి సర్దుకులు పోవాలి సర్దుకుని పోవాలి అదే జీవితం అదే జీవితం సరిపెట్టుకోవాలి తీయగా నీ గమ్యం చేరాలి అదే అదే నిజమైన విజయం ఏమంటావు అదే అదే నిజమైన గమ్యం ఏమంటావు నమస్తే మేబీ ఇది స్పయం you understood yeah in life brilliant we have... man, it's brilliant it's brilliant you know the yeah. hard the tra- you know uh, uh, smilingly making friends with uh, you know neighbors and you know all the people yeah. around and uh, you know take the life as positive as possible uh, as positive like as possible and uh, that is it is there the, uh, these are thoughts of life and try to deal with them and go uh, according to you know go ahead you know leading life peacefully that was you know solment uh, that was prabha shastri malma uh, we miss your reading but yes take care of your health and janata ma'am especially asked about you yeah <laughs> janata is uh, janata i don't have good health that's why i uh, committee your meeting that's all uh, now okay
now oh, my health is okay that's it today i will i attend your promotion the summer thank Sorry. you thank you everyone thank you everyone, thank you, everyone. Uh, please welcome our next poet our next poet is dr janata ramanathan uh, who is a professor please welcome uh, please ask her to be here for good evening good evening everyone thank you prasna prasna ji for inviting me for this and i have one of my poem i'll read my poem yes. a phoenix woman or a phoenix woman in the heart of a woman a phoenix resides a creature of fire with wings that stretch wide she feels the embers burning deep within a force that whispers of the strength she has been through trials and tribulations she has been tested yet rises above with a spirit undaunted like a phoenix she emerges from the flame transformed and reborn she will never be the same with every setback she learns to ignite to embrace the darkness and find her own light she spreads her wings ready to take flight leaving behind the ashes of her past plight in her eyes a fierce determination glows a phoenix's fire a passion that shows she knows she is capable of reaching the sky unfurling her wings ready to fly her scars tell stories of battles she has fought proof of the resilience that can't be bought with every fall she rises again a phoenix soaring high beyond the pain she believes in the power of her own flame in the strength that lies within her name no longer confined by doubt and fear she is a phoenix rising fierce and clear so let her spirit guide let her light shine as she soars through the heavens divine your woman reborn with wings stretched wide your phoenix unstoppable with strength inside thank you no, no, no. very very nice ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you very very nice very nice a resilient woman maybe she is so beautiful ma'am thank you thank you thanks for the beautiful happy to pra prabama here <laughs> so let her you know praying for her health and happiness thank you ma'am thank you thank you very nice very nice thank you so much thank you janta thank you ma'am uh please welcome our next poet our next poet is uh, yes uh, she is a wonderful poet she writes in bengali hindi and english as well so very well learned poet please welcome jayashree le jayashree le good evening good evening all of my poets and friends uh, first of all um, i am bengali so i read my poem bengali the uh, inner meaning of the poem is dream things should be sometimes related with reality the shopno shopno moy e shudhu kapura du chokhe amar bono je sompor shopno moy e shudhu kapura भलोबासार चुनिर टने अलक्ष्य गतिच्युत रचना कर अहेतुक बिन्सिड़े दिन चर्जाए धरे रखी जाप्य बार्ता बहन कर मेघ प्रियाारेजा कत कथा 
আমরা যা রচনা করি তা ওই দৃষ্টি That means we created our poetry of name, we created our poetry of promise. A word of promise. The word uttered. A word of promise that now. It held the sound of emancipation for your progeny. With the message of welcome to all your indomitable spirit. It was certainly not a sunlit moon, nor a lifeless dawn. Now it was a dry, barren land. Yes, yes, you deserve the accolade. You will be born and reborn as a newcomer every time. You will be an exception, solitary, distinct, and irrevocable. You certainly will be that one. And the only one, a living spirit that in omnipresent, yes, it was the promise. Yes, it was the promise. That was the word of acceptance uttered by the world that lies for you and your project. For you and your project. Thank you very much. Excellent, ma'am. Excellent, excellent. I love thank your you. Bengali poem as well. So beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is uh, Tilkumari Sharma from Nepal. Please welcome Tilkumari. Okay. First of all, namaste to all. And thanks, uh, Parsanaji. You have written a poem about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am written by many. I am uh, wonderful to see that and happy to see uh, these poems here. Okay, now I am going to recite the poem which you are <laughs> writing. And I am very happy. No words are there to thank you <laughs> because infinite thanks to you. Okay, now seeing uh, my cutting rice, then the photo of cutting rice you are writing here. And in the building, till is tilling, very nice poem. Plowing and cutting the fragrance of soil enriching the irrigation and fertilization, the richness of the rice sensation, the seasonal Proning and picking, plucking, deep rooted in harvesting as the sun calling, the yield is singing, the hands that are pulling, pulling, the zing, the case of tending. Nature, nature is blooming and blessing the poetry in the making as the poet sensing the reaping. Okay, thank you, person Naji. It, it is written, <laughs> written by person Naji. So there are no words uh, uh, to say thanks because enough thanks uh, are there. Then another poem, uh, which is written by another poet, uh, Nat Rajya. He also has written about me. He writes only about me. I am wonderful why it happens. Okay, so it is about uh, far away, I got the huge knowledge based in and beautiful poetess speaking like a mighty parrot. She's kind hearted and has friends all over the globe. Her beauty lies in mind, she's old of knowledge. She smiles with the authenticity of the beautiful queen of Nepal, nation of rich belly and vegetation. She's twinkle star and her generosity and approach to living is a legendary. She's a gift to humanity. She talks as a parrot spells, looking a fresh round the clock, 
crossing the freshness of the cluster of the flowers, sees princess, poetess, and always rights and praise for the well being of public protection of the human being. She is an angel of abundance, an example of simplicity. She is beautiful, Cinderella, her fragrance of the knowledge persists around the world. Beautiful poetess, beauty is everlasting and magnetic. Uh, God bless you, madam. He has written at the last. <laughs> so Nataraj uh, has written this. And I, I think that he has written some lines very nicely because when I see poor people and sick people suffering, then my tears are rolling down and I can't eat food here. That is uh, very nice he has written there. So I want to uh, well-being of the world people. So it's a truth. Yeah, thank you, person Naji. Thank you very much and my dear friends. Thank you, that was so lovely. Thank you, Kumari Sharma. Please give me a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you, thank you, Til. Please welcome our first time joining uh, us on, on our platform. Please welcome Rezaudin Stalin, a well-known poet from Bangladesh. Please welcome him. Thank you, sir. Please. Uh, thank you. I'm very glad to see uh, all poets, and I want to. Uh, give uh, thanks everybody those who invite me here. Uh, Til Kumari Sharma is a she is our friend, uh, and I'm from Bangladesh. From, uh, from Bangladesh, uh, salute everybody. Yeah. So I I want to uh, recite my poem uh, in English first. Solitude. Nobody knows the exact number of lonely trees. The quantity of river waves. How many thousands of birds did not return to nest? What the number four lying women, women is? Widow, diverse side, virgin forever. Oppressive as the leader of their sisters. Do the rock figure out the loneliness of hill, the weeping of lonely desert falls apart though the heart of fear. If 100 million trees are alone, 5 million waves, 1 million barbs, a thousand hills, hundreds of deserts also do no. 10 billion women are alone. There are no friends anywhere. A loneliness equal to a century over the dean as bustle of life. Uh, this is my uh, poem. Uh, in Bangla, uh, its name Nishangota. I want to recite my, I want to read my another poem in Bangla. Uh, the title of the poem is Abhoy. Hebona priyo tama, tama ke keo akars dile, shurjo debo ab. Brishti dile, brikho debo, hiret che dami. Nodi dile, nouka debo, shap che druto gami. Hebona priyo tama. Jharbati keo jaliye dile, tarar aloi. Uriye debo pot. No log dile baniye debo rong puroi not. Kyu jodi dae mall. Ami debo shrotet chalat chal. Shunai bandha gruncho dile proti shroti thasha. Ami debo borno mala. Amar matri phasha. Kyu jodi dae wish joda badi. Ami to debo matro doshat lodja thakar shadi. Thanks. Very well recited, sir. So beautiful. First one we it is something. Yes, so uh, please uh, uh, give a round of applause to Leza Wadin Stalin who joined us uh, for the first, first time. Please keep coming, sir. Please keep coming. And, you know, it is such an honor to have you always. Though we know each other for a long time, but we couldn't make it. But yes, this is my, this might be our first place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.
please welcome our last poet our last poet is yes uh, joey is there joey if you could uh, turn on your mic otherwise yes please mili das hello hello ma'am hello now i am going to my poem thank you so much krishna ji hello can you hear me नग्न नदी बिंदु फोटे फूल स्नान शर ने अभिलाष रंगमहले पाखीरा बंदी शतवाधे भेजा झावर बने तुलसी गंधे विभरित गिरिखा In every house, people lost their loved one. I don't want to leave this world. I don't want to take smell of death. I don't want to touch death. Death, death is knocking at the door of my life. The most tragedy of my life. This is a hidden pain in my life. This is a tragedy. There is God in it. He can do. He can kill the people. Mankind is the creation of God. Who can enjoy the most? If when we suffer, we lose the ability to control ourselves. God is sleeping and watching the silent day. He is also tired, lost the ability to do anything. Our lives are full of tragedy. Our lives are full of tragedy. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Excellent, ma'am. Excellent. Though there was, you know, kind of distraction, uh, you know, audio audio distraction. So, but in a, it's quite good. I could understand. I mean, I could get some words. I could listen. Thank you. Thank you for participating and thank you for joining. Or uh, that is the end of your uh, today's speech. Uh, I got I got to present. Rasanand, uh, you are poem. You are poem. Rasanand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have. uh you know, one poet who is a you know uh, you know uh, margaret blake margaret blake has been writing for many years but it's only in retirement that she has uh, focused on creative writing her stories and poems have been published in anthologies in uk india and online she is co-administrator of uh, aspiring writer society and is also an on editorial team of their ezen but being a regular contributor to the both she is active in her local community and and just working in garden or working in local fields so here is her poem which is published in this book manushatun so light in the darkness the world sees a cold and mistrust self interest and greed swirl around dividing harming roiling a vortex of hate indifference reigns families divide community shatters nations war 
eyes weep, hearts break, life crumbles, shatters, fragments, yet on the horizon a golden glow glimmers, darkness lane ending, humanity rising, refusing the cesspit of despair, a smile, an outstretched hand, transforming, compassion building, oppression ending, barriers crumbling, color and creed, no longer dividing, east and west uniting people, striving, marching together towards a vibrant, glorious, a new dawn, light in the darkness, written by Margaret Dick, and, you know, contributed to this. We rise by lifting other songs of humanity. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you for, you know, letting me uh, read me your poem written. And thank you, Rupali, ma'am. Thank you for this, content, you know, <laughs> encouragement and support to read this. Uh, wonderful. Uh, it's a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. I was surprised so many people reading in Bangla. Yes. And, uh, the, the lovely... I think we need a bit of translations also, you know, so that we get across what they're saying. Thank you so much for your beautiful poems, everybody. Uh, now I read uh, my poem. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It yes. Is, yes. Yeah, it is not maybe. fair. The title is not fair. Oh. <laughs> Kept her always in the memory. One day, the tempest of callous cold caught my, her lungs. Sucked all the breath that was taken in the result that she felt. In the mind being thawed with nothing remind to recall, it was she who, uh, it was he who broke her heart, leaving her in the desert of mirage, where she could see her, his portrait in the glossy mess as she goneared it. In order to have a glance, she find only brittle sand slipping through him, her fingers. How could he lift left her in the lurking, whereas she, he snuggled in the embrace of someone with much amusing and rejoicing. Sorry, I think <laughs> the pronouns have been changed. <laughs> pronouns have changed. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, instead of I, she, I, she and I, <laughs> so that, that, that's the thing. But yes, that is uh, how, you know, uh, you know, what is this? Sunfire, not fire. <laughs> but yes, thank you. Thank you for being with me and thank you. Such a beautiful uh, evening. And uh, you know, thank you. Thank you. And again, see you.